Guys, this is our question. Write a React component that displays two drop down menus. The first drop down should allow the user to select a country, and the second drop down should display the cities of the selected country. The component should manage the state for the selected country and the cities dynamically. Okay, here you guys can see in the first drop down we have to select the countries, and in the second drop down we have to display the cities which are related to that country. I think you have got the question. So let's start writing the code. First, we will create a React app. Uh, before that, let's create a new folder country drop down. And now create a React app, npx create react app and app name we will give it as drop down now let's get it to this folder and run our react app okay now our app is running let's do some changes in the code we will delete this because we are not using this code okay uh, now in the app.js let's create a function app and uh, return hello now let's check this okay it's working fine now we want country name and uh, cities let's create an array let's create an array countries and this will contain two objects representing two countries India and USA this will hold the name of the countries value uh, contains the country unique code and the cities this will hold an array of city names now let's use use state this will return two arrays country name which will be the current value and set country name which will be the updated value and in use state we will pass empty string where country name is set to an empty state now let's uh, create a function handle change let's take an event e as an argument the event e is triggered by the change in the input field uh, such as uh, when a user types in the text box or select an option from a drop down it will trigger so uh, uh, select country is equals to e dot target dot value here uh, e is the event object e dot target refers to the element that uh, triggered and dot value gets the current value of that element we will update the set country name and uh, and select country will hold the value of the input or a drop down now let's change the code in return where we will have select element that creates our drop down we will give value country name means that the value selected option in the drop down will always match the value stored in the country name state okay and on change we will pass the handle change this is an event handler function for the on change event uh, which is triggered every time the user selects a new option in the select element we should have the options so our first option will be select country and for the other options we will use the map method so we will map countries uh, countries dot map countries dot map country we will have the options here for that we are passing the key and value uh, in the key it will be country dot value this is the unique identifier where in the values it's a country dot name and this is actually the value that will be used
एंड वी हैव टू शो द कंट्री नेम लेट्स चेक इट आउट इट्स वर्किंग फाइन आई एम गिविंग सम स्टाइलिंग्स टू इट एंड आई विल मेक इट सेंटर इट हैज मूव टू सेंटर नाउ लेट्स क्रिएट अ ड्रॉप डाउन फॉर सिटीज लेट्स हैव अनदर यू स्टेट विच विल हैव सिटी नेम्स एंड सेट सिटी नेम इनिशियल स्टेट विल बी एम टी आर Here we will use the find method to check if the country name is equal to the currently selected country. We will update the set city name, and we will use the ternary operator. If country is found, it will use country dot city name array. Else, it will use empty array. now to create a drop down we will use select first option should be city name and we will map the city names here city comma index and in the options we will give the key and value and we will display the cities okay there is an error this should be city name and mm -hmm. okay uh, this should be cities here we go well, this is working fine okay guys stay tuned and i am going to upload more videos related to interviews thank you for watching subscribe this channel